Today we have had an informal meeting of the European Union for Foreign Ministers in Kiev. This is, uh, for sure, a historical date for several reasons. It is the first time ever that the Council met outside the European Union. It is the first time that we met in a candidate country. And unfortunately, it is also it was also the first time that the foreign ministers of the European Union meet in a country at war. By coming to Kyiv, the European Union foreign ministers sent a strong message of solidarity and support to Ukraine in the face of this uh, unjust and illegitimate war. Today's discussion has provided us with a better idea of the security dimension of this situation. This has been a central discussion today with President Zelensky and with Minister Kuleba. I propose a new bilateral multi-annual envelope on the European Peace Facility of uh, up to 5 billion for the next year. Year, in singular, more will come. And I hope that we can reach an agreement before the end of the year, we continue training Ukrainian soldiers. The target today is to train 40,000 in the coming months, and this includes specialized training, training for fighter jets pilots. And we will continue working in increasing resilience, cyber defense, and defense against hybrid threats such as disinformation and developing a common strategic communication. And for sure, the strongest security commitments that we can give to Ukraine is European Union membership. And we have to engage both on looking for peace and the reforms needed for the adhesion process. Another important issue is the continuous work on accountability. We took note that the Zelensky's President Peace Formula is the only peace initiative discussed in the international community. We will continue working as European Union to make it more global and the basis for the future peace.